I know you've been through a lot, went through a lot, currently are going through a lot, overcame a lot, aspire to overcome a lot. But listen to me, you're still here. You're still breathing. And like I always say, you still got air in your lungs, you still have an opportunity to be achieving. So every morning when you wake up, make sure that you give thanks. Make sure you show some gratitude for the things that you do have. It may not be as much as the next man or the next woman, but it's more than a whole lot of people. The great Denzel Washington said, give thanks in advance for what's already yours. And we're rolling up on the holiday season. And I know for a lot of people, it's tough. Matter of fact, I know this for a fact because I talk to a lot of people that tell me, Fry, it's the holiday season. I'm alone. I just broke up with him. I just broke up with her. But I want you to give thanks for that person being removed from your life. Because now, or later on down the line, you will realize just how much of a blessing that was. Or I may talk to people who lost someone close to them, lost a loved one, a relative, a friend around this time. And every year, the holiday season is tough for them. So instead of being sad and depressed during the holiday season, use this time to celebrate their memory and give thanks for the time that you were blessed to spend with them. And remember this, that person would not want you to be sad. They would not want you to be miserable. They would not want you to be depressed. They would want the best for you. So carry the memory of them in here and make them proud. This time of year, sometimes people's pockets are not right. Financial crisis, and they just dread the thought process of Thanksgiving and Christmas and having to spend all this money. Listen to me. That moment that you think you got it really, really bad, there's always, always somebody that has it 10 times worse than you. So give thanks for what you do have. Never lose sight that it could be much, much worse. Give thanks for the drama. Give thanks for the adversity that forced you to step out of your comfort zone and grow. And show gratitude for that growth. Even though you might not be reaping the benefits just yet, you can rest assured those blessings are on the way. Give thanks for those that weren't for you, that were removed from your life because they never ever had your back. I said this many times, people can be in that same car with you and just because they're in that car with you does not mean that they're riding for you. So make sure you show gratitude and give thanks that they are officially gone and out of your life. But don't get it twisted. You haven't talked to or saw a family member. You haven't spoken to or saw a close friend in years over some pettiness, over something that's silly. Life is way too short for you to keep holding that grudge. So I need you to give thanks for having the strength to exercise your forgiveness muscle, having the strength to be the bigger person and reconcile and reunite a relationship that should never have ended in the first place. Give thanks for your worst days because they truly help you appreciate when you're living your best days. And last but not least, give thanks for the fact that you finally love you some you. You overcame everything they tried to do to you. You overcame everything they said to you. And you finally are comfortable in your own skin. And you understand the importance of self-love. And you love yourself with or without them. And you have standards up here. And if they don't reach your standards, you're not lowering yourself to go down to their level. Give thanks for all the blessings in your life. It's the holiday season. Enjoy yourself first and foremost. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your family and enjoy and give thanks for everything that you have. And once you do that, it's official. You have climbed the hump and are now 
making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Happy Thanksgiving. This is a great day to win.